So another dimension to consider within self-expression with having a look at a hug is spontaneity. It was really in the moment, simply on the way to horses as I usually am in the afternoons, where this moment opened up to express a hug. And once I gave a hug to Estney and Maya, I was stable, you know, on the way to horses and all was normal and ordinary again. You know, the point didn't linger in the mind or nor in relationship to each other. It was understood as simply to be a moment of expression. Again, nothing more, nothing less. This also being why and how it is an expression that cannot be created by the mind. Because the mind, or in the mind, as many would be able to relate to, to create a, a physical movement <clears throat> from within the mind is a process where you first think about it or imagine it, builds up the emotional and feeling motivation, uh, you know, while you're hugging or with a person, more mind dimensions open up, and even sometimes afterwards start thinking about it and analyzing it, etc. This whole process that unfolds is an example with how the mind or consciousness interferes with a natural self-expression through the physical, where it is purely just that self-expression and the physical sharing. With a mind interference, however, God, you've got all the beforehand equations, then the energies, then the imaginations and projections it creates, the interpretations, the judgments and opinions, and can busy your mind for a while or a moment after that. You know, or where a hug is then just neutral, you know, where it's like robotic, just extend the arms, put over the other, hold on tightly and let go. You know, here... There's no self, no expression, simply a robotic automated movement of the physical. And therefore, with having a look at process with walking with individuals, um, you know, such as how uh, we've been walking with Maya and Esni, for example, such as through the seven year journey to life and destiny and then more individual processes through the destiny I process light and pro. What is emerging is an individual, a self, and relationships amongst human beings that aren't tainted with relationships and sex innuendo, but with a foundation and starting point of actual assistance and support, uh, you know, based within the starting point of assisting and supporting self and each other to become more, to find what of self can be built on, how can we assist and support each other to grow and expand and develop ourselves, you know, release that of our mind and consciousness that has limited who we are, how we live, the decisions and choices we make, and the futures we create. So, with having a look at the simple point as a hug, you know, many may go, but I do that. That's how I hug. But my question would be, how can you uh, hug within and as self-expression if... You haven't yet even understood what physical yearness or equality means through which you express yourself. And you know, this you can only do if you in fact live, if you have walked a process in relationship <clears throat> to your own mind or consciousness, established your self-awareness, uh, proven uh, where you have practically walked a process um, of real evidence, space and time, writing, forgiveness, commitments and corrective application. And additionally within this, have walked a process with others in the physical to be able to express such an expression of sharing or giving and receiving unconditionally. I mean, see, this is what is so cool about this process. Those that have walked for some time can easily assess who's walked for real and who hasn't because such expression, such living and stand only naturally emerge through walking the process and cannot in any way be created within the limitations of the mind or consciousness. I mean, common sense is, how can the mind create such an expression if the mind is based on programming, on energy, and have no direct equal in one relationship to the physical, where such expression unconditionally in a moment exists? Thank you very much.